Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. So friends, in this class we will be learning the if-else statement and some example programs to demonstrate if-else statement. And we'll also look at the conditional operator working, how it works and what is the result of the conditional operation all right so in the last class we have learned the if statement its structure and its working procedure everything so in this class we'll be learning the if else statement first we'll study the general structure of if else statement so if else statement checks the given condition as we did in the if statement as well if test expression is evaluated to true statements inside the body of if are executed. If test expression is evaluated to false, statements inside the body of else are executed. So now we'll study the general structure of if else statement. So first we'll start our condition by putting in the if statement and the block of code which will be executed if the test condition is true and we'll put the keyword else followed by a block of code which is going to be executed if the test condition gets failed. So look at your friends. So this is one block of code and this is another block of code. This block is executed when the condition is true and this is when the condition is false. So either of these blocks will be definitely executed depending upon the truth value of the test condition. Friends, this is our last program where we tested for the biggest number among the two input numbers. So in this program I am going to show you how if else can be implemented on the same program by eliminating some code. Right? So this will be the demo of if else structure. Right? So here I will be making some modifications by changing this to if else structure. So here I will be using the same two variables for storing the two integers first I'll check for the greatness of num1 if number 1 is more than number 2 I will say percent is bigger than percent that is num1 is bigger than num2 so in the second if structure I'll be checking for the greatness of num2 so here there are just two possibilities either number 1 can be biggest or number 2 can be biggest if number 1 is biggest so definitely number 2 cannot be. If num1 can't be, then definitely num2 will be the biggest number. So it is understood that if the num1 is not the biggest number, definitely be num2. Right? So I'll just erase this logic, logical condition and I'll just put the word else here. This means either this will be, either this will be executed, else this is executed. So this, this will be executed for sure when the num2 is biggest. So let's run this program. 4 is bigger than 3. Six is bigger than four. Eight is bigger than two. So this is how we use if else structure. And friends, in this program I'll be demonstrating uh, the if else structure to check the equality of two numbers which will be inputted to the program. So I'll check whether the two incoming integers are equal or not. For that I'm going to um, use two variables for storing the two integers. So first I'll use the if condition part of the if else statement. So if n1 is equal to n2 if this is true if n1 is equal to n2 I will print the statement telling both numbers are equal if both numbers are not equal the user should be informed with the message numbers are not equal. So I will put that message in the else part. 
because this the else part the block contained in the else block will be definitely executed when if not works numbers are not equal so let's go and run this program oh, sorry i should put a comma here control f9 please enter two integers to check 3 4 numbers are not equal because when n n has got 3 and n2 has got 4 3 equals to 4 returns 0 which is false so th in this case the if will not be executed and else will be definitely right so let's run this program again both numbers are equal now so this is how if else works so try out more and more programs checking the conditions for whether the number is divisible by Five or not, whether the number is positive or negative, whether the number is uh, divisible by ten or not, or whether the number is odd or even, whether the given year is a leap or not. So there are plenty of conditions to check. There are plenty of problems that we can solve using C program. Now I'll show you how to check for a number divisibility by five. So right. So in this program, I am going to check a given number uh, divisible by five or not. Whether the number is going to be completely uh, divided by five or not. So for that, I am going to use a single variable, which is enough here. So first, I'll go and tell the user. to enter a number how would we decide whether a number is divisible by 5 or not so let us divide the given number by 5 if the remainder equals to 0 then i would say the given number is completely uh, divisible by 5 if i get anything apart from 0 as the remainder the number is not divisible by 5 so let's go and do that uh, first i'll check for the number for divisibility num slash 5 this will divide the number by 5 and gives you the quotient but we don't want the quotient here let's find out uh, the remainder so this will give you the remainder right so num mod 5 will give you the remainder so this will be enclosed in a a parenthesis if the result of this num mod 5 so so i'm going to store the given number in the variable num and that number will be divided by the integer 5 let us say suppose uh i'll store 10 in num so 10 mod 5 will give you the remainder 0 and i'll check that remainder for 0 if this is 0 the result of this is equals to 0 right then i would say the number is divisible by 5 so let us put this entire thing in the if condition right so if num mod 5 equals to 0 i would say this so just i'm printing a single statement i'm executing a single statement so i don't need to have or uh, to be enclose this in the curly parenthesis so yes the number is divisible by 5 yes it is not that's it right yes print f yes if this if this doesn't work i'll be printing sorry sorry the number isn't divisible by 5 right let's go and run this roll f9 enter a number 
sorry the number is not divisible by 5 that's all right so what's happening here slash n is printing again right just erase this extra slash so 5 yes the number is divisible by 5 100 yes the number is divisible by 5 67 sorry the number is not divisible by 5 that's right so this is how we can achieve the result by using if else statement so so remember friends when you're going to check for the two possibilities either one of the two possibilities is going to be executed if if you're sure about that then use if else structure right and there is one more operator called conditional operator uh, which is suitable here to discuss because the conditional operator works similar uh, to the if else statement or double if statements if we use two if statements or if else statements it is similar working with the conditional operator so let's find out what is the conditional operator the question symbol under colon a uh, pair of these two symbols is called as conditional operator right so the syntax is like this first we'll put the expression one which is uh, which is normally a logical condition followed by the question mark and the expression 2 colon the expression 3 and end the statement with the semicolon expression 1 is evaluated if it is true then expression 2 is evaluated and becomes the value of the entire conditional operator expression if expression 1 is false then expression 3 is evaluated and its value becomes the value of the entire expression or the entire conditional operation so now I'll show you the conditional operator uh, with an example so in this program again I'm going to check for uh, the biggest of two numbers using the conditional operator so first I'll be using I'll be using two variables num1 uh, which is having the value 10 and num2 uh, which will be holding number 20 okay so let me add the clear screen here so first here I'll start by comparing the two numbers num1 more than num2 here just I'm guessing what happens if num1 is more than num2 first put the question mark here so this will be the expression 1 and here in this part put the expression 2 and here expression 3 right so this is the format so put the result in this place in the place of expression 2 that you want when num1 is more than num2 so I will print so I will print the message in this place so here I'll tell uh, if num1 is not more than num2 I'll say and and one more thing don't put the semicolon after printf because we are not going to end the statement there right so semicolons are not required here so let's go and run this so remember num1 has got 10 num2 has 20 control f9 so num2 is biggest so that is what we wanted right so now we'll check for uh, the equality so if num1 equals to num2 both are so equal both are equal not equal so remember this part is for a uh, true value this part is for false value so num1 num2 are not equal so the result is not equal let's go and make them equal control f9 again both are 
equal so this is how conditional operator works so this is similar to if else so this is the if condition and the code inside the if this is code inside the else so here in this so using conditional operator we can combine both if and else together in a single statement right well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you